Average SEAL carries gear weighing up to 75 pounds. At the same time, he may need to carry a down man or climb over a 10-foot high wall. So strength is critical to our success, especially core strength. I'm Navy SEAL instructor Lieutenant DeCoster. Core strength is an integral part of sports. Whether you're boxing out in basketball, breaking a tackle, or hitting a golf ball 300 yards, your strength comes from your core. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Instructor Castro, and today we're going to go over an intense core strength training routine with my demonstrator, Lieutenant DeCoster. This routine will consist of three exercises. The first will be overhead squat, the second will be glute ham developer sit-up, and the third will be glute ham developer back extension. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate those movements now. For the first movement, the overhead squat, you go ahead and use a dowel, a PVC pipe, or a broomstick for this movement. You bring the load 8 to 10 inches overhead and maintain an active shoulder. Active shoulder means you're pressing your shoulder up into your ear to stabilize the weight. We want your stance about shoulder width, a nice squatting stance. At this point, he's in a descent into a deep squat. Once his hip breaks the crease of his knee, he's gone deep enough. We also want to look for this lower lumbar curve to make sure he's not rounding his back. Once he starts rounding his back, he's losing the integrity of his back and he's going to set himself up for injury. At this point, he drives off of his heel, heels and rises. Good. Descend. If the weight becomes too much to manage, you can go ahead and dump it forward. Good. And bring it overhead. For this exercise, we do not use spotters. It's imperative you do not have anyone spotting you because you can drop the weight on it. We'll do five repetitions of this exercise. You'll put your weight down, and we'll move over here to the glute ham developer. We're going to go ahead and sit in the glute ham developer. We want to be slightly behind the pads. At this point, he's going to lower down, touch the bottom, and sharply extend his knees to come up. Good. This is a safety point. If he comes up with a soft knee, go down. Soft knee being not extending it. Good. Come up. He's placing a lot of stress on his lower back. So to alleviate that stress on his lower back, we sharply extend the knee, and that brings us up. One more correct one. Good. Notice the velocity when he does it correct. That's because he's getting the hamstring involved. He'll do 10 repetitions of that and he'll flip over on the glute ham developer. Once he flips over, we're going to do 10 hip extensions. The reason this is a hip extension is because his pelvis is slightly past the pad. His back at this point is static and his glute and ham are active. What I mean by active is these are the muscles that are being used to raise him. Come up. Good. And down. Notice the back is static again, and the glute and ham are raising him up. Come up. Good. You'll do 10 repetitions of this. That's one round. Five overhead squats, 10 glute ham developer sit-ups, and 10 back extensions. What the workout is, is as many rounds as you can do in 20 minutes. For those of you who don't have access to this specialized equipment, we're going to now show you three simple substitutions for these exercises. The first being the overhead squat with just a broomstick dowel, or even a piece of wood. Same points of performance we covered earlier. Good. Same reps, five reps. Place the weight down. For the back extension, our substitution is what we call a Superman. For the Superman, you're going to lie prone, and then you rise your chest off the ground. Good. And back down. Same amount of reps, 10 reps. For the substitution for the glute ham sit-up, we're going to do regular sit-ups. Good. All the way down and all the way up. If you don't have a buddy to spot you, you can use two dumbbells to hold your feet in place. And the reps will be the same. And now we're ready to start the workout. Three, two, one, go. Remember, it's five overhead squats first then 10 glute ham developer sit-ups, then 10 glute ham developer hip extensions. Lieutenant DeCoster has trained for a long time at this movement. Most of you will have to start with an empty bar or even the dowel for the first time you try the overhead squat. If you don't have access to a glute ham developer for the sit-ups, you can easily do regular sit-ups on the ground. Good. Remember, the important thing here is extending the leg to minimize the stress on the back. He's demonstrating full range of motion. Good, nice speed. 
Once he's completed these, he's going to flip over. The substitution for this exercise, if you don't have a glute ham developer, is prone supermans. Good. He's going all the way down and all the way up. His back is static and his glute and ham are active. He's just completed one round. Now he's going to repeat for as many as he can do in 20 minutes. Remember to use proper form when doing these exercises and increase your maximum rounds each time you do it.